What's up guys, Steve Craig Retro Games back with another video and tonight's video is a collections video. I am going to show you guys my Xbox 360 video game collection. I have never shown any of my uh, Xbox, Xbox 360 or Xbox One game collection so I figured what better time than the present. Um, you guys need to be picking up 360 games because they are cheap and they are only going to get more expensive. So with that being said, guys, let's check out my collection of Xbox 360 games. All right, guys, so I will try to move through these pretty quick and because uh, there are quite a few of them. So uh, starting off, we have Bullet Witch. Uh, this is a pretty cool game. This much like uh, Bayonetta. You are a witch with a really cool gun. Well, you have all different types of guns, but uh, pretty cool game. This is a complete copy. Even has the um, poster, which is supposed to have. Put that there. We have The Darkness. Really cool first-person game. You guys can pause at any time to look at the backs of these a little bit better. I'm going to try and make this not too long. Uh, we have the Darkness 2. Project Sylphid, Arc of Deception. This is uh, a game like Star Fox. Really, really cool space shooter. One of my favorite games, Stranglehold. Absolutely love this game when it came out. I was uh, top 10 in the world in multiplayer for a while. Used to play too much of that game, actually. Uh, we've got Dragon's Dogma. Saints Row the Third. We have Clive Barker's Jericho. This is a fantastic uh, horror game. First person. Played through this game and beat it when it came out. Absolutely loved this game. It is just gory and wonderful. Another game I had a great time with, Prison Break. Uh, I loved the show when it was on TV. Grabbed the game. This coincided with the first season, and I really, really like this game a lot. Uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Perfect Dark zero this is a uh this was a microsoft employee owned version of the game you don't see those too often but uh, i have seen quite a few over the last couple of years uh, guitar hero world tour tmnt danger of the ooze this is the Nickelodeon Turtles. Injustice, Gods Among Us. You guys are all familiar with this game. All right, so we have, uh, we've got Halo Reach. Halo 3 ODST. Combat Evolved Halo Edition. Or <laughs> Halo Anniversary. Really cool cover on that one. And then Halo 4. Make sure you guys can see those. 
another fantastic game in my opinion, Aliens vs. Predator. I'm a big fan of this series, and uh, I love these games. Can't go wrong with that in my mind. Grand Theft Auto 5. I don't even need to show the back of that one. Come on. Uh, another one of my favorites, that is Raiden Fighters Aces. This is three shoot 'em ups in one, and that is Raiden Fighters, Raiden Fighters 2, and Raiden Fighters uh, Jet. Hard to read. Awesome game. This is uh, one to keep your eyes out for if you see it for cheap. Grab that. Another fantastic game, that is Stuntman Ignition. I love car racing games, burnout games, car crashing games. Uh, Stuntman is a fantastic game where you are filming movie scenes and trying to accomplish a specific stunt, crash, uh, whatever they're asking you to do. Uh, really, really cool game. Uh, Prince of Persia. We've got a sealed copy of Batman Arkham Asylum. All right, we've got Gears of War, fantastic series. Gears 2, still need to take the, uh, that's what I paid was $4, I think, for this copy. We've got Gears 3. And then I have Gears of War Judgment. So those are the only Gears games I have at the moment. We've got Metro Last Light. Deus Ex Human Revolution. I have this for a couple different consoles. Uh, the 360, obviously, and the Wii U for sure, and maybe the PS3, I can't remember. Spec Ops The Line. Pretty cool game. Uh, Disney Infinity and NCAA Football 13. Which, believe it or not, this game's going for like $30, $30 or something stupid like that. But I uh, do love that foil cover art, though. Alright, can you guys still see those? Yeah. Start stack two now. Alright, we have Dishonored. Oh, that's an original Xbox. How'd you get in there, manhunt? Sneaky little devil. All right, we have Army of Two. This is a fantastic series. I played all of these when they originally came out. Absolutely love these games to death. Um, the aggro system and the different masks that you could find and wear. Just absolutely loved Army of Two. Then we have Army of Two, the 40th day. Unfortunately, this is in a crap case. Uh, so I do need to find, I do have a few games that need replacement cases, but I've got everything except the case. And then we have Army of Two, the Devil's Cartel. These games are just wonderful uh, co-op games. These games are fantastic as well. They look good, they play good. And I mean, just look at those masks. There's just different masks that you get to wear. And they are awesome. Highly recommend the uh, Army of Two games if you guys have never played them before. Alright, I have a sealed copy of uh, Project Gotham Racing 4. Got this for like three bucks at the Goodwill. Uh, sealed copy of Guitar Hero 2 and Guitar Hero Aerosmith Dual Pack. 
Got this for a dollar, I think, at Walmart. Maybe two dollars sealed. Pretty cool. Uh, Rogue Warrior. This is based on Dick Mar Marcinko, which was the first Navy SEAL. Uh, loosely based from what I hear. But a pretty cool game nonetheless, where you get to play as the first Navy SEAL. The guy that invented the Navy SEALs. Uh, then you got Sniper Ghost Warrior. I'm a big fan of the Sniper series. Absolutely love these games. And we've got uh, NCAA Football 05. Do love my football games. We've got Jurassic the Hunted. Jurassic the Broken. <laughs> then we have Jurassic Park the Game. This is a Telltale game. So you know this game is pretty cool. Make sure you've got your Barbasol before you play. Uh, I've got the Spider-Man Platinum Hits version. And I've got the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Fatal Inertia, which is, a, which is a Koei Tecmo game. This is a racer that you don't see very often. Got this for like two or three dollars at a thrift store and it is complete but uh you just don't see this game very often at all and it's kind of a weird game for koi to make so uh definitely pretty cool had to grab that uh we've got aliens colonial marines again i love aliens games predator games alien versus predator games predator versus alien games alien versus marine games uh, we've got Rock Band. Max Payne 3. Um, fantastic franchise. Part 3 is probably the best one. Although I am still pretty partial to the original. Absolutely fell in love with that game when the first one came out. Uh, Fracture. LucasArts title. This is a really cool game where you can... Um, augment the environment around you. You can sink the ground. You can make the ground come up. Um, pretty cool thing that you can use to get around the, uh, the map. Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Fate of Two Worlds. Classic fighting game. Can't say enough about it. I mean, come on. Soul Calibur 5. Again... Fantastic fighting game. Can't say enough about the series. It's Soul Calibur. DuckTales. Woo! Uh, remastered. I've got this for the 360, the Wii U, and I think I also have the PS3 version. I might not have the PS3 version, but uh, love this game. Had to have it twice. Beautiful Katamari. Notice I did not say ugly Katamari. Again, another kooky but great series. Then we've got Lost Planet 2. We have Mirror's Edge. This is another one in a crappy case. Uh, again, it's complete. It just needs the uh, replacement case. This is basically a parkour style game for those of you that aren't familiar with the Mirror's Edge franchise. Uh, pretty cool game. Check it out if you get the chance. They're cheap. Uh, Darksiders 2. This is a sealed copy. I've got, uh, again, this is another game I've got on a few different platforms. Love the franchise. Time Shift. Love that front cover. That helmet's dope. Um, pretty cool game as well. First person game. We have Bioshock. Oh my. What can I say about Bioshock? This is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, absolutely wonderful game. Probably the best story 
uh, or one of the best three story game stories ever made. Um, I mean, come on, it's Bioshock, guys. And we got Bioshock 2. Love that cover with the Big Daddy. Took Bioshock and just ramped it up. I really enjoyed the story on this one as well, but the part one was better. And then you got to finish it up with uh, Infinite. And this is a game I enjoyed. I did enjoy this one, but it was such a different environment um, being up in the sky. And I get the contrast. Of course, there goes my light. I get the contrast of being underwater and up in the sky, but it was just so open in much of the game that it, it didn't feel as threatened as I did in the first two games. And I, I enjoyed this one, but it is nowhere near, in my opinion, as good as the first two. Um, so that is my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Leave me hint comments down below if you'd like for those of you infinite fans down there. Excuse me while I change out my light for you guys. So yeah, I enjoyed infinite, but it was not as good as part one and part two in my opinion. All right. Then we have Dead Space, again, another one of my favorite franchises. When I first played this game, when it originally came out, it blew my mind. Uh, I, I, I just can't say enough about this series, um, or at least one and two, three is, eh, it's okay. But uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic series there. Um, Dead Space 2, of course. I mean, Visceral just knocked it out of the park with the first two games. Um, if you haven't played these games, what are you doing with your lives? Play one and two. And then we've got Dead Space three. Um, this one is hit or miss. This one was actually meant to be played co-op. Uh, and if you don't play it co-op, you feel like you're missing chunks of the story because you are missing chunks of the story. Um, but the way that they created this game, they just really, they missed the mark with this one. Um, they should have, they should have advertised this one more as uh, a co-op game than a single player because you some of the puzzles make no sense without your co-op and or your partner and cool game um, nowhere near as good as one and two and if you if you play this with a partner it's a great game uh, much better than it is if you play it alone. All right. And then we have Crisis 2. Unfortunately, I do not have the first one, and that is a Crisis, I know. Fantastic game. Crisis 3. Again, I still don't have the first Crisis. I know, it's a Crisis. But happy to have 2 and 3. Then we have uh, Pac-Man World 2, Platinum Hits. Really fun game. Kind of bringing Pac-Man into the new era. We've got Rayman Legends. You guys are all familiar with Rayman Legends. I've got like three or four different copies of this game for different consoles. Then we've got uh, two, 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa because you guys know that watch my channel, I am a huge soccer fan. And I love it, man. So, gotta have my soccer games. Now we'll go on to the final stack here. We've got Fable 2. Absolutely fantastic series. I have not played enough Fable. Uh, but definitely a series I need to get back into. Great series of games. And I have a sealed copy of Fable Journey for the Connect. No idea if this game's any good, but I think I got it for a dollar, so couldn't leave it behind. Oh, there's Max Payne, the original um, Platinum Hits, but this is uh, where it all began for Max Payne, and I absolutely love this game, still love this game. Max just hits it out of the park.
Uh, sealed copy of Connect Adventures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got The Born Conspiracy. This is a game I really enjoyed. Um, I thought they did an awesome job with this game. It's got a lot of quick time events. Uh, the fighting style is very well done. Um, it is a lot like, I mean, exactly like the movie when you're doing a fight scene with the QTEs. It's like you're watching the fight scene in a movie. The race scene, or should I say the chase scene, is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it. this game is cheap if you're a fan of the born uh series check this game out you can't go wrong i had a blast with it completed the game and at some point i will be going back through that game again because it is fantastic uh, then we have command and conquer the tiberium wars i'd like to get a few more command and conquer games Got Platinum Hits X Men Legends. We've got Skylanders Imaginators. We've got Skylanders Giants. And we've got Skylanders Swap Fours. Make sure you clap real loud for those last three, guys. We have the Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena. Um, this is the sequel to Butcher Bay. These games are fantastic. For those of you guys that have never played um, the Chronicles of Riddick games, uh, the first one is on the original Xbox, and this one obviously for the 360. These games are fantastic. Do not pass them up thinking there's some cheesy movie knockoff games or something. Trust me when I tell you, if you're fans of the Riddick movies, you will absolutely love these games. They were done very well. We have everyone's favorite, Lollipop Chainsaw. Everybody loves old Lollipop Chainsaw. We've got Lost Via Domos, or Domus. Let you see the back of that so you don't get lost. Pinball Hall of Fame, the Williams Collection, because Leanne and I are huge pinball fans in this game. One of the best pinball games ever made. It has the absolute king, Gorgar, which is the uh, pinball machine I own. And then also has Tales of the Arabian Nights and Medieval Madness, which are two of my favorite tables. This game, if you're a pinball fan, check this game out. It is fantastic hours and hours and hours of fun into that game we have planet 51 the game leanne loves this movie had to pick up the game uh darksiders 2 i think i already showed a copy of this game if i'm not mistaken a sealed copy of darksiders 2 right there see so there's an extra copy in a crappy case get out of here all right we've got left for dead 2 i would like to pick up the first one but i'm just not willing to pay 30 doggone dollars for the first version of this game um but at some point i'll find a cheap great game to have there red dead redemption i mean come on guys one of the one of the best rockstar games ever made fight me on that Remember me when I tell you this game is decent. All right, let's see here. We've got Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Revelations, and then I have a probably most of the others on other systems so here's your assassin's creed games there one of my favorite games on the system dante's inferno i know this came out on other platforms as well but this is the uh, system i played it on when it originally came out and absolutely love this game i had a blast playing through this very very visceral graphics um man what 
what a ride this was. Alice Madness Returns. For those of you that are interested in this game, go check out Retro Rivals' review of this game. Jen knocks it out of the park. Mortal Kombat, the complete edition. Alan Wake, a fantastic game they just redid, but I'm sure it's not as good as the original version, and I've already heard that it's not. I could be wrong, but I always prefer the originals. Dragon Age Inquisition. Leanne is a huge Dragon Age fan. Had to get this game for her. Viva Pinata, Trouble in Paradise. I am a huge Viva Pinata fan. Played the originals when they came out back in the day and absolutely loved them. Uh, these games were just fun, cute, quirky games where you try to get vi uh, pinatas to come into your garden. These are live animals. Um, and then you get them to mate and make new pinatas and stuff. It's really, really cute. If you guys have never played a Viva Pinata game, uh, check them out. It's like a farming simulator type game. Uh, we've got Akai Katana. This is a shmup. This is a rising star game. And this is one I definitely recommend you guys check out. This is a bullet hell game. It is beautiful and it is worth your time. Pick it up before this game starts to really go up in price, I'm telling you. We've got The Amazing Spider-Man. I think I had The Amazing Spider-Man 2 in here somewhere and I didn't have these together. There it is, right there. Far Cry 2. Just Cause 2. Grand Theft Auto 4. Should have had this with Grand Theft Auto 5 earlier. Splatterhouse, one of my favorite series. Love, love, love Splatterhouse, the original for the Turbo Graphics. This is definitely a different style of that game for sure. Different story, of course, but um, great series. Love it. Very, very happy to have Splatterhouse in the collection. Another game, guys, I recommend you picking up before 360 games start to go up. And it's just a matter of time before they do. Another very uncommon game, that is Tornado Outbreak. And this one, you play as a tornado, and you try to suck up as much stuff as you can. As you do, you grow. Uh, really, really interesting game. Um, unlike most other games, this is a really, really cool game. Check this out, Tornado Outbreak. We have Condemned Criminal Origins. The Saboteur. This is a really cool game. I recommend you guys checking out. Um, takes place in Paris. Uh, the cities are black and white as you unlock things and complete things. Um, those parts of the cities will then um, be in color. Really cool storyline. Um, check this game out. It's cheap and worth your time. We've got Namco Museum, Virtual Arcade. I mean, you got Pac-Man, Galaga, Mr. Driller, Dig Dug. You've got some fantastic games on here. You got Xevious, Pole Position, some classics for cheap. Can't beat that. And then the last little stack of games here, guys. FIFA 17, again, you guys know I'm a soccer fan, and this is the first year of Atlanta United's soccer team, so I had to have FIFA 17 because this has my boys, Atlanta United's inaugural year on this disc. 
Then we've got Azura's Wrath. This is a Capcom. Basically, this is a, uh, uh, oh gosh, what am I thinking? Manga um, movie that you are basically watching with quick time events. Um, really beautiful game. And uh, yeah, really glad I found this one um, earlier this year for a great price. Then we have a sealed copy of Silent Hill HD Collection. This has Silent Hill 2, 3, oh, just 2 and 3, I think. Yeah, Silent Hill 2 and 3. So I've got that brand new. And then I've got Silent Hill Downpour. Great survival horror series. And then I have a sealed copy of Silent Hill Homecoming. Still even has the sticker on the plastic there. I got it for $35. And these might not be the best versions of these games, but uh, I enjoy having sealed copies of them so definitely not gonna shy away from that and uh yeah guys so as of right now that is my xbox 360 collection all right guys well i hope you enjoyed this video if you did and you're not yet a subscriber to my channel think about hitting that subscribe button for me and uh if you enjoy my content you can also check me out on instagram that is steve craig retro games same as it is down below. And of course I drop videos every Monday, every Friday, every other Wednesday, and whenever I get the chance, which lately hasn't been at all. Um, but I do appreciate you guys watching, especially if you're still here at this point in the video. I love you guys. If you're still here, thank you so much. Please leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you guys uh, think of my collection so far. Um, of course it is gonna continue to grow. So uh, tell me some games I need to keep an eye out for so that I can add them to my library. And um, again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Be safe out there, guys. And until next week, keep gaming.